So stuff is happening in Peru. Massive anti-government protests continue in southern Peru. Protesters demand the release of former leftist president Pedro Castillo from jail. This comes after 17 protesters were killed during clashes with the police in the city of Juliaca on Monday. Want to take a look? Here we go. We should have had Craig Paz. I forgot to call Craig Paz today. He was in Peru. They could have talked. He could have talked about this. I'm sorry. Wow, it's a lot of people. Wow. Peru's coup regime over so they overthrew the government in Peru. Seventy one percent of Peruvians disprove disapprove of the unelected president, Dina Bolarte, says a new poll by the Institute of Peruvian Studies. The same survey shows that sixty percent consider the anti coup protests justified. The country's Congress, which carried out the coup against Pedro Castillo, has an even higher rate of rejection, with the IEP stated at the beginning of 2023, the Congress of the Republic is only approved by 9% of respondents, while 16% approve of the president of Congress, Jose Williams. Really? That's pretty low. Was it just members of Congress? Yeah. <laughs> These figures represent an increase in the disapproval rating of 8% compared to the previous month. Regarding the anti-coup protests and ongoing general strike, 60% consider the mobilization to be justified among young people. That rises to 72%. 58% said that there has been repression by the regime against protesters. Peru has experienced mass protests ever since the coup against Pedro Castillo last December. Their demands are resignation of the coup regime, new elections, constitutional assembly, and the release of Pedro Castillo. Currently, he's being detained without charge in Lima. The new regime has killed 50 protesters, almost 50 protesters, mostly in the indigenous Andean regions in the south of the country. Thousands of Peruvians from rural indigenous areas are arriving at the capital city to demand the fall of the coup regime. regime. This is day 13 of the general strike. The Bolarte dictatorship will likely respond with more repression. Wow, that, that, that's real protesting when you have a dictator who just overthrew your government. Wow. <laughs> Protests in Peru following the impeachment of Pedro Castillo show no signs of letting up. In the face of lethal repression, protesters are no longer just demanding elections, but the resignation of President Dina Barte in a new constitution. And that's from uh, Jacobin. Uh, I have nothing to say about that. I wish I knew more about it, but there you go. We covered it. Peru protesting. We got to get, uh, let's get Craig Post in here so he could tell us all about it. Hey, we're doing live stand-up comedy in Los Angeles, Tempe, Arizona, Palm Springs, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, Nashville, Northampton, Massachusetts, and a lot more places. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets and become a premium member. While you're there, you get access to all of our stuff. See you then.